So I'm back home in England, licking my wounds after a painful loss in Texas last week. Maybe I just don't have what it takes anymore, you know? Maybe I just don't have the stuff. Hello? I don't think you can even beat me, pal. And I'm washed out, finished. You couldn't beat me. Alright, calm down, John, mate. I'm not that bad. Ah, uh, the dependably bad weather of the British Isles. How I have missed the... I think I can see it. Is it yeah, we're in a shed again. I like the wood effect on the outside of this one now. All right, so this is what's on the agenda today. We're at the Fresh Kitchen Co. in Saltney, which is kind of near uh, Chester, and we're taking on the breakfast challenge, which apparently has not been beaten since January of this year. And the closest attempt uh, was that of the father of famous boxer and serial retiree Tyson Fury, Mr. John Fury, who uh, apparently gave it a good stab, but he didn't manage to do it inside the uh, the one hour time limit. And if you do manage to do it inside an hour, not only do you get the meal free, you get 50 quid cash money for your troubles. And you know, Mrs. Beard's garlic bread addiction does not pay for itself, so it's time I go to work. Ugh. I'm gonna have to vault this puddle. Ready to rock. Always. <laughs> Who needs Mrs. Beard when you got Hasbulla? Basically the same thing with a slightly different haircut. I'm not sure if John Fury gets a, a spot on the wall of fame because he's John Fury or because um, you know he, he got closest to finishing. I, I would imagine it's the former. Do you reckon you think I could do this or no? He's gonna do it say yes. <laughs> Doesn't seem sure. Ooh, here it is. He doesn't want a picture with me, he just wants to sit down and get a picture with the breakfast. <laughs> you reckon you could polish that off? You think you could do it? All right, today I'm at a place called The Fresh Kitchen Co, which is kind of near Chester, just a little bit out of Chester. I'm taking on the breakfast challenge, which was made famous, I, I was going to say recently, but it was ages ago, because um, it's by him, I don't know if you can see it. Uh, John Fury did it, Tyson Fury's dad, and uh, he came pretty close, right, but he, he, wasn't, he wasn't successful. And if you finish it inside 45 minutes, not only is the meal free, you get 50 quid cash money too, right? Yeah. A bunch of toast, sausages, poached eggs. Poached eggs. You don't often get That's poached eggs. Yeah. <laughs> don't often get those on a, on a breakfast. Bacon, hash browns, black pudding, tomatoes, mushrooms, toast, beans. I think I said everything. It's been around since, what, about January? Yeah, January. January, right? And uh, you said you said that you uh, you saw you saw the man himself try. How close did he get? Oh, you brought him in. Yeah, brought him in. These guys are sponsors. Was he was he giving it big licks? Did he say I'm gonna I'm gonna definitely do it? And he didn't do it. <laughs> and you were gonna post the failure picture. And he said, <laughs> do that. <laughs> Three, two, one. I'm gonna have that man. Push, push. I haven't done that for a while. Right, where, where are we gonna start? Sausages, Natch. Yeah, where else? It would not be true to form if I started with anything other than the weenies, to be frank. So that's what we're going to do. What's up, Ben? Welcome back to another episode. I'm back in England today. Just about, I think. Actually, I don't know where it is. It might even be technically Wales. I think it's right on the border between England and Wales. Let me know in the comments if you know. I'm too lazy to check Wikipedia. But we're at Fresh Kitchen in Saltney today, having a crack at a fry-up challenge, which has not been beaten for almost an entire year now. You get 45 minutes to finish. I, I said in the car uh, an hour, but it's 45 minutes. And if you crack it, you win 50 quid cash money. <laughs> For God's sake, when you get home, don't try and eat like this. Don't eat like that. Your mum will kill me. Right, what next? What next? The posh eggs, evidently. And yeah, don't try this at home, especially if you're a juvenile. Oh, look at that. Always nice to see a father and son enjoying the spectacle of a man eating eggs with his bare hands. <laughs> it's the simple things in life. Turns out poached eggs are quite easy to eat. I think it's the first time I've eaten poached eggs reasonably quickly. We're going to save the black pudding because I love that stuff. Bacon maybe next? Yeah. Yeah, why not? 
Bacon is typically the toughest part of any full English breakfast challenge, with the exception maybe of the bread. And there is a lot of bread here. It's thin sliced, but there's a lot of it. Which is what I assume has so far put a stop to most of the attemptees. Attemptees? Is that... That's probably not a word, is it? I don't think that's a word. Let's move on. What are we doing now? The hash browns. And so far, everything's tasting pretty good. Some nice herby sausages, crispy hash browns. The bacon was a little less crispy than I would usually prefer, but we're having fun. It's a good one. Yeah, it's pretty good. No. You mean, do I enjoy it? I'm, not, I'm really not eating that quickly. I mean, I, I, can, I can taste it pretty well, yeah. It's nice stuff. <laughs> But we yeah. Taking no prisoners today. <laughs> Do you want me to slow down a bit? <laughs> All right, there's no need to be a smug dog about it, especially after that last episode. <laughs> but yeah, I'm so far making some pretty, pretty solid ground. Let's put it that way. 40 minutes remaining. In order to get a free meal, 50 quid cash money, and a spot on that little shrine behind me at the right hand of Hasbullah himself. And we've only got what? A couple of bowls of beans, some tomatoes, black pudding, and I don't know, about a loaf of bread to go. Look at this black pudding, too. Ooh. There's no reason, no logical reason that fried blood should look that good, but it does. <laughs> Get out more, mate. Come on. <laughs> it can't be, surely. I suppose the six eggs are what, about ten seconds apart? That, that was pretty good. And keeping the, the beard clean all the while is... I suppose that's pretty impressive. That black pudding was yum. Tastes a little bit more peppery than usual. And a little bit of a, you know, peppery kick to it. <laughs> nice. Right, what next? Fresh tomatoes up next. I know that will make a lot of people very happy. Mostly the folks who think tinned Tommies on a full English breakfast are positively sacrilegious. Not today. We've got farm fresh grilled tomatoes. The bread is just going to take forever. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. <laughs> I'd like to say I don't normally eat like this, but I, I, I do, you know. <laughs> No, I mean, I wouldn't be full after this, to tell you the truth, but like... He knows, he knows, yeah. Does anyone know, how long have I got left? 34. 34 minutes left. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm slacking here. Eat at a service station, a wild allegation. I did actually, uh, I stopped for a, a, a couple of fizzy drinks though. No Diet Coke while eating today, but the bubbles will help everything digest on the return journey home. <laughs> That's what they all say, yeah. If I had a quid for every time somebody said that. <laughs> what do you say? You're not hungry after seeing that? <laughs> I can't blame you. I can't blame you. <laughs> yeah, I, I have been known to have that effect on people. Although that said, I think today I've been uncharacteristically tidy. Look, I'm picking up all the crumbs and whatnot. And we've still got a good half hour left. Just the fried bread to go, and sadly, nothing remaining to top it with. Never mind, eh? 40 minutes gone, one slice left. And it looks like I'm gonna be knocking Tyson Fury's dad right off the top of the leaderboard there. I mean, you, you, you can't really see it, but it's behind Hasbulla, I think, somewhere. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you at the next one. Clean myself up before I finish here. I ran out of bean juice too early. Normally I love, you know, bean juice with, with fried bread. Maybe there's a, there's a little bit on the, uh, the lip of this uh, pot here.
good. Oh. Thank you. Right, I'm here to collect my winnings, Gaffer. No worries. I've, I've got a lady at home who has a garlic bread addiction, so uh, this is I'm only joking. <laughs> Sadly, no dessert menu, so I got, oh, bugger. I got, <laughs> I got, I got a chocolate bar and a Diet Coke. It'll have to do. <laughs> 